British author Rose Tremaine's The Road Home, 2007, tells the poignant story of Lev, an Eastern European migrant striving to build a new life in London. Tremaine, one of Britain's most esteemed living novelists, is renowned for works like Restoration, 1989. The Road Home earned the 2008 Orange Prize for Fiction. The novel begins on a long-haul coach journey from an unnamed Eastern European country to London. Lev strikes up a conversation with Lydia, a fellow traveler from his homeland. He shares that he hails from the tiny rural village of Oror and once worked at a sawmill in the nearby town of Barron. When the mill closed due to deforestation and a lack of replanting, Lev was left without prospects. His despair deepened after losing his wife, Marina, leaving him to care for their five-year-old daughter, Maya, with help from his elderly mother, Ina, who made and sold tin jewelry. Struggling to make ends meet, Lev resolved to emigrate, hoping to earn enough in London to send money back home. Moved by his story, Lydia gives him her phone number, offering help if needed. Upon arriving in London, Lev is overwhelmed by the city's wealth and the stark contrast to his homeland. Observing the abundance around him, including the many overweight people, he realizes the money he brought won't last long. An immigrant from the Arab world offers Lev a job delivering leaflets, but the meager pay is insufficient even to secure shared accommodation. Soon Lev is homeless, carrying his belongings through the city's cold streets. Desperate, he contacts Lydia, who is staying with friends. They take him in temporarily and help him find a room to rent. Lev's new landlord, Christy Slane, an Irish plumber, is also struggling. Having lost his wife and limited access to his daughter, Christy battles loneliness and alcoholism. Despite their hardships, Lev and Christy form a close friendship. In contrast, Lev's interactions with many Londoners are marked by indifference or hostility. He secures a job as a kitchen porter in a high-end restaurant owned by celebrity chef G.K. Ash. The work is grueling and poorly paid, but Lev's dedication earns him a promotion to vegetable peeler. Recognizing the opportunity, Lev begins learning everything he can about the restaurant industry. While working tirelessly to send money home, Lev keeps in touch with Rudy, a taxi driver and old friend, who updates him on the challenges facing their homeland. The Road Home is a moving exploration of resilience, friendship, and the immigrant experience. Lev begins to dream of returning to his village armed with enough money and Western knowledge to bring transformation. While working at the restaurant, he embarks on a passionate affair with Sophie, a British co-worker. Through Sophie, Lev gains insight into different facets of British society, offering Tremaine an opportunity to satirize contemporary life. Sophie introduces Lev to Ferndale Heights, a care home where she volunteers. She explains her role there, helping prepare Christmas meals, playing games, singing songs, and offering companionship to the elderly. Sophie laments, when you're old, nobody touches you, nobody listens to you, not in this bloody country. So that's what I do. I touch and listen. I comb their hair. I play clapping games with them. I hear about life in the post-war prefab or in some crumbling stately pile. I play my guitar and sometimes that makes them cry. At the home, Lev forms a close bond with Ruby Konstad, Sophie's favorite resident, who vividly recalls her childhood in a convent school in India. Sophie also introduces Lev to London's art world, including a Damien Hirst-like artist and a satirical playwright. At the premiere of the playwright's latest work, Lev is repelled by the pretentiousness of both the production and its audience. When G.K. Ash, the restaurant owner, discovers Lev's relationship with Sophie, he fires Lev, citing workplace professionalism. Forced to find alternative work, Lev becomes an asparagus picker in the English countryside, where he befriends migrant workers from China. In the cold, muddy fields, Lev has a moment of clarity. He resolves to save 10,000 pounds and return to Baron to open a restaurant. Back in London, Lev works tirelessly to achieve his goal, taking jobs in the Ferndale Heights kitchen and at a Greek restaurant. By the time he saves 7,000 pounds, Ruby generously gives him the remaining amount he needs. The novel concludes with Lev fulfilling his dream. He returns to Baron as the proud proprietor of a thriving restaurant, ready to rebuild his life and contribute to his community. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.